Hello everybody and welcome back to our newest project, Let's Play Psychonauts. Now I know what you're thinking, Greg, didn't you say you weren't going to be doing open world games anymore? To which I say, thank you for watching my Hand of Fate video, and yes, I did say that. But I feel like Psychonauts is going to be one of those games where there's going to be enough going on that I won't have to worry too much about filling commentary. But... Without further ado, let's start a new game. The Human Mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three pound pile of dreams. And I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield, and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, Mental Marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead. And this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts! The rest of you... will die! <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa. Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get! Get! In! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified, remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. 
Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda, but... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. And cutscenes like that are the reason I love this game. Anyway, anyways, let's just take our bunk. We'll just erase this one that I used for audio testing. And rename it Let's Play. Settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms! Got it? Now, lights out! And now it's on to your standard camera calibration tutorial, which honestly I haven't seen in years. Wonder why. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way, if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Yeah, those are just two of the overworld collectibles found throughout this game. And I will collect some of the ones in the opening area just to show you them. But hey guys, hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic training! Woohoo! Basic training is the best class ever! Woohoo! Anyways, like I was saying, I'm going to hold off on getting collectibles outside of the first few, 
And while I'm here, let me show you some of the specialties of the map. Like, for example, it will show you how many cards, how many side marker challenges, and how many couple of other mysterious collectibles are in the area. But like I said, outside of some of the ones that I can collect right now before we go into the tutorial level, I'm probably going to save those till later on when we have the powers that we need to collect all of them, or at the very least the cards and challenge markers, and save them for their own separate videos, just so that, you know, they're easy to find in the uh, playlist. But anyways, we've also got this one that shows our totals across the entire game. Let's see what we have to do. Mental vaults. We'll go over those when we get to one. And a basic map. But without further ado, let's find some collectibles and speak to some characters. Yes, yes, first side card. Once we get nine of them and buy a side core, we can uh, assemble a new one. And you see this? This is where... It... Yeah. This is one of the ways that we can get arrowheads, which are our basic currency throughout the game. There are other ways that are much more efficient to collect, but we'll go over that once we get to them. And hey, look, it's Dogen. I'm telling you for the last time, no. I would never do that. I could never kill everyone. Oh, hi, Raz. Squirrel trouble? They're liars is all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah, I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. Right. What the? Creepy. There we go. Anyways, as I was doing before, let's head for this. Let's head for this net. And make our way up here where we can get collect some more cards. Now, oh, let's basic uh, what is it? Trapeze that we can use. It's almost like this camp was built specifically so that just my character could get around easily. And here is our first side challenge marker. Basically, it's a free rank up if you can find it. Right, make our way down. Whoa. Ah, lame. Alright, gonna have to make our way back up there. Yeah, I see the cards down there. I'll get them on my way back. Alright, some bars for us to swing on. Rope for us to climb. And another card to find. Unfortunately, we can't get up to that area yet. We'll need a power we won't get for a while, at least. But we can get some more arrowheads and head down this way. Now, down here is... A safe with a collectible that we can't get yet. Because we don't have the power we need. Looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. Uh, if only we had some sort of ability to set things on fire or heat them up. Oh well. Guess that sandwich will remain frozen there for all eternity. Or until someone else finds it. But for now, let's head down here, get some more arrowheads. Find yet another card. Better yet, another card. Now, let's see, I believe there are three more that we can collect. So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna. Hey! You're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. 
on. Yeah, nothing's gonna change between those two. At all. Anyways, we've got another card right here in the outhouse. Another arrowhead. And another side card. Yes, yes, we can do that, but first we gotta get through the tutorial class. Let's see, there's a couple more characters I'd like to talk to. You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh! I'm practicing for tonight, when it's gonna be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice? Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Okay. Seems like you're a little young to be doing that, but Damn, whatever. Stupid Did you possibly people. mean the best? The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Clint? No, I, I meant am worse, as in I can't believe we're friends, it's so bad. Eh, yeah, I, he can't be that bad, can he? And look, stereotypical foreign kid. You, new boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Was it you? Giant, hairless bear? Nope. In Russia, bear's much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see him. Cannot lurk forever, bear. In Soviet Russia, bear find you. Anyways, let's collect these last two cards and then move the story along. It looks Are like... any sentient being in the galaxy, Polarisma Australis? Anyways, it looks like that is all but one card, which I know is somewhere up there. Come in, Polarisma Australis. Anyways, let's get to class before we're any more late than we already are. Hey, where are you going, Malou? Shh! Snuck out! That class is a death trap for crazy people! Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser. Or you'll be coughing a bloody tear. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. Zing. <laughs> Benny, put this kid back on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. Right. Now, I'm not the only one who thinks all these guys look like they're tripping acid, right? Anyways, let's talk to this girl on the radio before we head to the coach. Hey, Chloe, what are you doing? The coach uses this to broadcast his thoughts across the camp. I think I can tune it to reach my people in space. Right. Anyways, on to the mission. Yeah, 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 main I'm mission. I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It will be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I I'm think ready, we're sir. ready. Well then... You're late, soldier! Now get in here and give me 20! You were just telling me about how I could run around in the sunshine some more. Now you're complaining about me being late? Shh. 
So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office? It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting! I want one of you chickens to sock me square in the jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. You're on, coach. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! Charge! <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here, too, if you don't get moving right now. Yeah, this is your quintessential uh, like tutorial level. Going uphill in January with crutches. Meant to teach you how to get around the world and later on the collectibles that you find specifically within the mental world. Relax, that's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on. Get that figment! Yeah, collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. And blah blah, unlock new psychic abilities. Now some figments are worth Damn one. Piggy, piggy. Some Who are worth more. Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. Or it could be right across this gap. Yep. Basically, you get there that. It is. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now! Anyways, collect all of them and you get some basic concept art of the level. Now, I'm going like to... Molasses going uphill in January. Jesus With Christ, crutches. Coach, let me finish. Anyways, I'm going to do my best to try and collect everything within the mental world, but I can't promise that I'm going to do it. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. Because while it may seem easy right now, it, they're going to get very difficult to find, especially considering the fact that they're two-dimensional. And it can be very easy to miss them sometimes. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. But they're definitely something you want to collect, because you don't want to end up getting to a point where you need a specific power and you don't have the rank you need to use it. Believe me, first time I played through Psychonauts, I had that same problem. But just collect them as you see them. Look out for collectibles in Watch both the out. upper world and the Fire over or below. mental and uh over yeah the mental world and the overworld and you'll be just fine shouldn't have too many problems keeping up we can't get past this this is stupid hmm looks like a test there's probably a secret more advanced route what's that supposed to mean you think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa! <laughs> Bobby Zilch's just foot! That's what! You stupid new kid! Yeah! 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. Anyways, what Raz was saying earlier was correct. There is a more secret route to go about this. Though, it's not all that secretive when it's, uh, labeled. But, let me collect these figments. Before we You'll go down. Plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. There are some figments that you can get by jumping around on those zeppelins, but I might just take a pass on those. I may come back off camera to collect any ones that I might have missed, or I might not. Anyways, yeah, here's a secret route. Plenty more figments than I would have gotten from the uh, zeppelins. Move, move, move! Yeah, I'm moving as fast as I can, coach. And does that give me a rank up? No, not quite. Oh, almost fell off the ledge there. Now, where are we? I mean, obviously on the other side of the Zeppelins, but... Ah, here we are. Ouch. And a new power at rank 10. I gotta stop running into those fires. Anyways, we got those. Eh. Nah. Eh. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause the recording here and just go after those. It's just three of them. Alright, got the pigments. Let's move it on. Alright, and now comes the extremely... Joey? No! Because I'm going to call you Slowy Joey! That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya! You're talking too slow! <laughs> All right. Don't have to be a jackass about it. Oh, yes, and here's our mental health. Let's see. All right, I can drop down here without having to do that shimmying again. If I recall correctly, isn't there some emotional baggage here I can find? Yeah, there it is. so happy together. Alright, let's keep it moving. Let's see, some more figments. Oh yes, I also forgot to mention, they can also move, which can Honor also up, make them soldier. easy to miss. Let me just show you. And see? That's the problem with them being two-dimensional. Add on top of that that they're moving, and... Well, it can be very easy to miss them. Which is why I'm not 100% certain I'm going after all the pigments. Especially when I've got to deal with them while also bouncing on a net. Onward and upward, soldier! Yeah, yeah, I heard you. There we go. Got him. And now we've got a net to climb. Now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it, quick, like a monkey. Is it just me, or does it seem kind of odd that they are only just now exploding this wall that I'm climbing it? I mean, I get I'm the main character, but still. Move, move, move! Make it look down, and Bobby will pound you down. Bobby, can you hear me? Where are you? Come on, Karma. There we go. Don't you just love it? 
Watch those mines, kid. They'll blow you up like a ten cent kazoo. Right. Hey, Dogen. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. This is actually something that you want to do because it'll get you a bunch of arrowheads. But it is also very tedious as he will constantly stop and you have to talk to him. And I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. But okay. anyways, guys, we are coming up on our time limit for this episode. So I'm going to leave it off there and off camera I will guide Dogen across the minefield and we'll just start out on the other side there. So, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like and perhaps I can't do it. And perhaps subscribe for future content. See you guys in the next episode.